everyone, so today I have a little bit of a haul for you. This is kind of a collection of things that I've bought over the last few weeks or so and it's been a while since I sat down and did a beauty haul so I thought I would show you all the bits that I've bought recently. So first of all I have to show you just the most beautiful product of everything that I have here. This is a Burberry eyeshadow and just look at that packaging, it's absolutely stunning. This is one of their sheer eyeshadows in Pale Barley. It's this kind of very cool toned taupey shade and I'm definitely not a cool tone girl, I really tend to prefer warm tones when it comes to my eyes but this just stood out to me as absolutely beautiful and I had to have it and also we do have Susie from Hello October to blame. We went to the Covent Garden Burberry store together and she pretty much taught me into buying this but I'm glad she did because I absolutely love it. It's definitely a very subtle shade but it's one that you can get away with wearing completely on its own so just a wash of colour all over the lid and you're pretty much done. I think it's a really nice simple one to wear. Now I've also been pairing that with an eyeshadow base or a cream shadow that I picked up recently and this is one of the Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 hour leather effect eyeshadows and I was kind of intrigued by the idea of the leather effect but to be honest I think they're pretty much exactly the same as the original colour tattoos but this shade I really really love this is the colour creamy beige and it's kind of just a really natural kind of browny beige tone as the name would suggest but I really love this as a base because it kind of enhances any colour that you put on top of it because it has a slight bit of warmth and a kind of a bit more depth to it as well it kind of just brings out the darker and warmer tones in the eyeshadows so I especially love wearing it underneath the Burberry shadow but just on its own as well it's a really pretty subtle shade. I have quite a few of these colour tattoos now and I really like them. I think they're a really great price for what they are. They don't crease at all, they really stick onto your lids and they really help other eyeshadows stay on there as well so I really like that one. Now I went a little bit lip pencil crazy this month. I have one, two, three, seven lip pencils here. That's that's quite bad, I know, but five of them did come in a set. So the first two are also from Maybelline, and these are the Colour Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencils, and I got the shades Red Essential and Fab, or yeah, Fab Orange, and these are just a typical me colour. I have a really bright orangey tone red, and then a nice dark burgundy kind of deep berry shade, which is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today, and I heard about these quite a long time ago and I really wasn't that fussed or that into them. It seems that every high street drugstore brand are bringing out a kind of lip pencil, lip crayon type thing and I just wasn't really that bothered about it. But then I saw them in store and I swatched them on the back of my hand and they are just so intensely pigmented. They are amazing. These are so comfortable to wear as well. I actually had this one on yesterday too and put it on in the morning and completely forgot I was even wearing it because it just felt like there was nothing on my lips at all. And then about five hours later it looked in the mirror realised I had it all over my face. I talk about the NARS lip pencils quite a bit as well and I absolutely love those. The shade Red Square is probably one of my favourite reds ever but I think I may actually prefer these Maybelline ones to those and I will talk about them in a minute because I have a couple here but they just seem to be a lot more comfortable to wear, they last longer, they're more pigmented so for something that I think is less than a quarter of the price, these are 4 99 NARS ones are £18 I think that's just pretty much amazing. So the NARS pencils I got actually came in this little set here, and this is one of NARS's Christmas sets. They have quite a few, and they're all in beautiful packaging. This one has this little kind of plastic box with this really pretty print on it, and they're actually small sizes. I think they're um, 1.7 grams. I'm not sure what the original NARS pencils have, but they're still not a bad size, and at the rate that I go through lip products, I don't always need a full-size product to really get the most out of it. So there's actually a variety of finishes in the set. There are two velvet mattes and then three satin finishes and the matte ones are Cruella which is just an amazing shade and you might actually remember that I used to have this and then managed to lose it somehow. I've never ever lost a makeup product in my life. I tend to take care of my makeup because I love it so much but I managed to lose Cruella at a Christmas party so about a year ago now and I've been thinking about it ever since so when I saw that it was in this set I knew I had to get it. Um, so this is very similar actually to the Maybelline shade in Red Essential that I'm wearing today almost pretty much identical actually and then there's also the shade Iberico in the velvet matte, I'm not sure if that's the right pronunciation. NARS names are always so tricky to pronounce, not sure why. But this is kind of similar actually to Red Square, although it's a lot more orangey tone, so kind of maybe a little bit of a Mac Morange type colour. And then in the satin formulas they have Torres del Paine, 
which is a really, really pretty peach shade. And um, there's U, which is an amazing bright fuchsia, and then Descanso, which looks like a really lovely nude. I haven't managed to get through all of these yet. I've worn this one here quite a bit. This is Descanso, which is a really, really nice nude. And then, of course, Corella, which I absolutely love. So the set is £32, which I think is an amazing price considering these are 18 on their own. You don't get the full sizes, but like I said, the amount of lip products that I own, I never go through a full size anyway. So I think it's a really great way to try out quite a few colours, so I'm really glad I got that one. So I also picked up a few bits from Kiko this month, and everything I've tried from Kiko has been really great quality, but really reasonably priced. So it's a brand that I'm really, really starting to like. Um, so the first thing I got from them was a mascara. This is their Super Colour Mascara in the shade number five and this is kind of a really rich burgundy plum mascara and i've been looking for a mascara this color for ages and ages i think i mentioned it on twitter a while back and not many people seem to know of one that was available there is a chanel um mascara i think that they have in a very similar shade but i wasn't sure if i wanted to spend that much money for something that i might not wear every single day but this was perfect i think it was maybe three or four pounds, something like that. I've not been a massive fan of coloured mascaras in the past. I think they look a little bit tacky sometimes, especially if they're quite bright and in your face. But this one is a really subtle shade. It doesn't look purple or too bright. It kind of just looks like black with a slight tint of plum to it, which is really, really pretty. And I've been wearing this quite a lot on my bottom lashes. Because I have quite dark circles under my eyes, I do find sometimes when I put a black mascara on my bottom lashes, it kind of just looks a bit dark and drags everything down a bit. Whereas this adds the definition that I need on my lashes but it doesn't kind of make everything too dark. It looks quite brightening and it kind of goes with my eye colour I think because my eyes are sort of a brownie green shade. I think purple is the opposite of that so somehow it kind of works together but I think it's a really nice look. I haven't tried it yet on my full lashes on my top and bottom lashes but I think this would be nice if you're wearing either kind of like a greeny olive eyeshadow or even like a purple look to kind of really tie everything together so really interested to keep using that one. I really wanted to try a nail polish from Kiko as well, so I picked up this one here. I think it's just the shade 275, and this is just a pure black, because I think of all the millions and millions of nail polishes I have, I don't actually own a black shade, so I got this one, and I'm really impressed with the formula. Pretty much one coat, and it's completely opaque. I did do two coats just good measure because I'm just used to doing two coats with any nail polish but it's really lasted quite well I think this is the third day and I only have maybe one tiny little chip in the corner there and it's a really nice color and really nice finish as well so I was really impressed with this one I might get a few more shades although I really don't need any more nail polishes and then the last thing I got from Kiko was kind of a bit of an impulse purchase I saw this grabbed it and just ran for the tills and it's a glitter eyeliner you're probably not going to be able to see how intense and sparkly this is but I was definitely in a bit of a festive Christmassy mood when I saw this and I just had to buy it I think this would be incredible for a really glittery kind of Christmas party New Year's Eve party look when it comes to the rare occasion that I actually do a really glittery sparkly eye I do prefer to use eyeliners for it because I find if you're using a pressed glitter or just a loose pigment it tends to drop everywhere and will just end up all over your face at the end of the night so using it in a kind of gel formula like an eyeliner just helps it stick to the eyes a lot better so I picked this one up thinking that I'd probably use it for some kind of party in the future but it's just so so pretty now when it comes to concealers Origins Plant Scription is the one for me I've talked about it so many times I'm getting sick of it myself but when that one ran out recently I decided to try something a little bit different I'm not sure what I was thinking because I know that one works for me and I do struggle to find a really good concealer especially for under my eyes and dark circles things like that but I saw this on Anna's blog Viviana does makeup and she was talking about how it's a really nice all-rounder and I do think it's tricky to find something that works under your eyes and around your face at the same time. This is the Clarins Instant Concealer and I really like for some reason that it comes in a little tube. Not sure why, I just like that you can get a really small amount out or quite a lot. It's a nice little packaged product and this is a really nice all-rounder. It definitely works really well under my eyes. I was surprised that I didn't even have to use my Bobbi Brown Corrector which always goes on before concealer. It, it just brightened everything up really nicely and I think it does have a slight reflective pigment in it so it really does help with dark circles but it also worked really well across my face covering up redness especially around my nose where I tend to get it quite a lot and also covering up the odd blemish or two so I was really impressed with this I haven't used it for quite long enough to really make a decision on it I've had it for about 
two weeks now and I've used it pretty much every day. So we'll see how that one goes, but for the moment I'm really impressed with it, I do really like it. So the last of the makeup bits that I have to show you is a blusher from NARS. And I actually spoke about this in my last video, that it was being discontinued and I decided that I needed it in my life. And this is Doucet. This is definitely a really cult product from NARS. I can't believe I've never had it before, but so many people use it. And a lot of you actually said in the comments of the video that I mentioned it in that you were so surprised it was being discontinued. And I really am as well. I'm not sure if it's been confirmed, but the people in Space OK definitely told me they weren't stocking it and it wasn't in the little NARS stand either. So I think it's probably true but it's a sad thing because it's a beautiful blusher it's actually a lot more cool tone than i thought it would be but it does make for a really lovely subtle shade on your cheeks especially when i'm wearing a brighter lipstick and i do find sometimes it can clash with blusher this is just the perfect color for that it gives you a bit of color a bit of definition around your cheeks but it doesn't interfere with the shade of your lipstick and you can wear it with any color so if i'm wearing a red lip it works if i'm wearing a bright pink lip it works as well and it's also a really lovely one for just a very natural makeup look so I'm really sad it's been discontinued, but I am glad that I got hold of it. I think it is out of stock completely on the Space and K website, but I actually managed to pick this up on ASOS where they still had it. So if you are looking to buy one or stocking up if it's your favourite blush ever, then have a look on there. So the last bits I have to show you are all bath related products. Um, I'm really not a bath person until it comes to kind of autumn, winter time, Christmas. And I just really prefer having a nice warm bath in the evening to kind of relax me and warm me up because it is pretty cold at the moment. So the first thing I got was a bubble bath and I'm not really into bubble baths. I find them a bit annoying and the bubbles just tend to get everywhere. But I saw this on Feel Unique and the description just had me sold instantly. This is the brown sugar and vanilla bubble bath which just sounded amazing. This is from Deep Steep and they're a really good brown. They're kind of all pure and natural ingredients. No kind of parabens and nasties and things like that. So I decided to get it and I've only used this once but it was a magical <laughs> experience. It was amazing. It does foam up really nice. It, they're not too kind of in your face massive bubbles but they're definitely there. But the smell was just incredible. It kind of, it, it smells like vanilla but really warm and really sweet and sugary. It's really lovely. I found as well after I got out of the bath the scent just really lingered on my skin and I love it when products do that and they really keep you smelling nice for a long time. So I really like this. I think they have quite a few products in the range so I may have to check out a few. I'm definitely interested in the moisturiser as well if it smells as amazing as the bubble bath. And then of course I couldn't not go to Lush. When they bring out their Christmas range I am just straight there. I absolutely love it. During the rest of the year I'm not too fussed about it but there's just something about the Christmas collection that just makes me crazy and excited. So I got two things and I'll try and unwrap these without getting them everywhere. The first one is Butter Bear. This is one of their bath bombs and I don't think I've seen this before. I think it's new this year but what really intrigued me is that it's the same formula as the Butter Ball which is my all-time favourite product from Lush. Also it's just absolutely adorable. It's so cute. It's a little polar bear and he has a little brown nose and I think he'll probably get two baths out of this. Maybe one big one but it definitely smells just like Butterball, which is kind of a very vanilla-y, kind of subtle, soft scent. But it's full of cocoa butter, I think, so it's a really, really moisturising bath. You can almost see the oil floating on the top of the bath when you use it, so if this is the same, I think that'll be amazing. Oh, it just smells so good. And then the second thing I got was the Yognog soap. Again, I haven't seen this before, so I think it's new. And this is um, just a creamy soap. It's made with soya yoghurt and fudge <laughs> and it kind of I'm not sure what eggnog smells like because it's not really something that we have here in England it kind of smells a bit spicy definitely like a Christmas drink so something really really festive and I'm holding it in the wrapper because it is so creamy it's kind of coming off on my finger as I do that so I think this one's going to be really moisturizing and I do like to use these lush um, soaps kind of on my legs and on my arms because I find they just really hydrate them so kind of after I've washed my body I just sort of scrub these all over my arms and then kind of rinse them off and I really like using these so I got a little one of those just to try it out oh the whole room smells like blush now it's amazing and I'm also covered in bath bomb <laughs> and that is everything that I bought so I hope you enjoyed watching that thank you for sticking with me for the last hour that it's been that I've been rambling about makeup and beauty products and I will see you all soon